Sounds good. What's up, Meech? My name is Nigeria Chambers from Bitco Belt Media. Always a pleasure to talk to you. And, uh, you know, guy, as, as always, and every single time I'm talking, we'll continue to give you your flowers for the work that you are doing on this show in life, just the culture that you're bringing together, man. And I'm going to start off with something that I have sort of made some analysis with. So going back to last year's premiere, I noticed, you know, a lot of love, big moment, celebrating season two, a lot of celebrities there. I'm curious, how many of these folks come up to you wanting to get in on the show? And has that really been sort of the translation in terms of the Neos, the two chains, the little babies being a part of it now this season? How, how, did they try to work that through with you? Yeah, yeah, man. It's been amazing. Like, first time I met a little baby in Atlanta, he was like, man, you got to get me on the show, man. I'm being that show. You know, he's already in Atlanta, Atlanta native. So uh, a lot of the people from Atlanta, you know, coming up, they definitely want to be a part of the BMF series in any yeah. type of way. And it's so fun and funny to hear people like Two Chains and everybody, like, anytime they see me, the first thing they say is, man, give me a BMF, give me a BMF. <laughs> but it, it's cool, too, man, to see how everybody wants to be a part of it, man. That's that's amazing. That let's us know that we're doing something right, you know. Yeah, no doubt. And, 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 and not... Man. Yeah, I was gonna say not just not something right, but you you you're you're creating your own legacy, man. It, it should never be yeah. overshadowed by the icons of your dad and and unk. But like you're legitimately are creating your new legacy, and everybody's taking aware of that. That's why everybody's trying to get on, you know, because they know it's something special again, you know. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Good seeing you again, man. Good seeing you too, brother. Listen, I, I got to ask about something, and, and this is full spoiler content, so I'll make sure that this is released at the proper time. Um, There's a very special moment between uh, Meech and Tupac. Um, You know, as we continue to learn more about the history of BMF and more about the history of Tupac, and there's been respective series documentaries and stuff about the two, I have never seen these two roads collide. Can you talk about the conversations, the stories that you heard about this, and just how special of that moment it was to bring that into the season? Oh, that was crazy. Like, that was one of my favorite moments, season three. You know, being able to... I didn't even know my dad met Tupac, you know, until I seen that and read the script. You know, and, and the person that he got to play Tupac looks exactly like him. Like, on all eyes on me. Like, you know how they got a character like Tupac so it was very very crazy as I was doing the scene when I'm like yo this dude looks just like Tupac but to see that my dad like got to be able to run into him during his time before he got incarcerated and we get to see this on TV like that's it's history man that's culture I, it was so fun to me I, I'm so glad that they actually put that in there so people can see you know it's a lot of things people don't know you know, the documentaries don't say anything about Tupac, so the show is the first time we actually get to see Big Meech interacting with people, legends. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. I wish I could spend so much time asking you so much, but again, I'm just going to thank you for the work that you've been doing on this show, bringing the culture alive, highlighting Atlanta, getting Detroit out there, creating your new legacy, man. It's all special. I'm, I'm very excited to be a fan to witness this, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. No doubt. Peace no doubt. Support. No doubt. You already. This is for Meech. We've seen over the first two seasons of BMF just the business grow, the family bond grow, but here we get to see the expansion of the business. What are you looking forward to people seeing in this season to show just how intricate the operation was for BMF? And I'm looking forward to people seeing how smart young Meech really was. You know, young Meech was so smart that not only did he change the dynamic in his hometown, but the first and second season, we seen young Meech and his brother and his whole crew you know, navigate their way through Detroit. But Meech finds out that Atlanta is going to be the new hub for expansion because Atlanta is the hub of the United States, you know, with freeways going to all parts of the country. You know, Atlanta's the best place for the business to grow. But Terry doesn't agree with Meech. So Terry stays in his hometown. And we have, so I, we have to watch Meech navigate through Atlanta, a whole different town, a whole different city with new people that he do not know, that do not trust him. So he has to use different tactics. He can't be the same Meech. He can't use 
you know, the same tactics that got him out of Detroit. He has to use different tactics because these people don't know him, you know. So we get to watch a lot of different new things, nuances that we get to see the characters go through this season. 